appointed in you. I saw you as a girl with a very high moral standard. Chinelo, how could you bring this type of shame into this family? I used to see you as a girl with high moral standard. I use you as an example to other children in this family on how best to behave. How could you break our trust this way? How? It was a mistake. It was a mistake. Surely it's a mistake. When you were busy pulling your clothes, spreading your legs, you didn't know that a mistake would bring you disgrace. Chinelo, you are a disgrace. You see you, I tried my best to train you well and God will bear me witness. Okay, you will disgrace yourself and not me. Inolia, disgrace. They are called. I show you the shining light of this family. How can you do this? This is your plan all the way to go to the university and be sleeping around with boys. No member of this family will enter the university with an unwanted pregnancy. We will not tolerate such a shame. So it's obvious whatever you thinking on your head, you are not on your own. And there is nothing I can do about that. The water you poured on yourself is what is making you cold. Oh, Uncle, please. Please don't leave me like this now. I am begging you. Don't do this to me. It was a mistake. Please. Please. Turn on that Marcos is up. Mistake has consequences and you have to bear them. Uncle, please. Hey! Come on. Beg him for me. Beg him for me. Just for yourself. You put him along with you. You put him along with you. Where you disgrace. When you were busy spreading your legs. Imaro, you want me to beg your uncle? Chidelo, you are a disgrace. I, I, I knew I trained you well, and God knows I did my best. Chidelo, your father married me a virgin. Eh? I don't know who you resemble. Amaro, mama, I don't know. Eh? It's what you put upon yourself now. University, Mbaz. Mbaz, stay. Oh, God. Eh? Hi. Hi. Yeah? By the way, who is responsible? Eh, hey, Chinelo? Chinelo, who is responsible for this pregnancy? Oh, it's a bobo. I should have hey. known. Not the love of your soccer, I should have known. I should have known. Not by you. Not by you, Sigur Bali. I should have known. Uh -huh. Education of my voice is not fair. Education of my mouth. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known that.
I still find it very difficult to believe you wanted to kill yourself. Why? You wanted to die or in the means of trying to terminate the child. Why? Is it not better? Is it not better to die? Is it not better than living this, 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 this life of misery? Do you know I am now a, a laughing stock? The laughing, laughing stock of the village. Eh? My whole life has changed. My, my, my life has turned upside down all because of this, 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 this little human being growing inside my womb. It's okay, please. Don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. I just wanted to take it out. I just wanted it flushed out. I just wanted it to die. I wanted it to kill it so that it would... Prepare to die with it. Nanny, look at you. Attempted to kill an innocent life. All because of carelessness. It is not the child's fault that you opened your legs. 
Eh? Okay, for me. If anything happens to that child in your womb, today, look, if anything happens to that child in your womb, believe you me, this house will not contain both of us. You know, yeah? Thing and anything I could lay my hands on just to terminate the pregnancy. But the child held on. The child refused to go. So where's GD now? I don't know. He went back after his father's burial. I thought he said he came back to mind family's business. Oh, see, at some point I I lost interest in anything that concerns him. But I heard that after the burial, someone was contracted to mind the business while he went back and continued his studies. I haven't heard anything about him since then. So he hasn't seen his son? Wow, this is really sad. Now I understand why you feel the way you do. But you know what? This is not the end of your life. You still have a lot of potentials within you. And you can't let this little scar hinder you from spreading your wings to fly. Wings. <laughs> I don't even have legs to walk. Talk more of wings to fly. The wind of life blew everything away, including my dreams. Of course you do. Everything you've been through is just a chapter in your life. You have to allow yourself. Rewrite your destiny. The pet of that boy destroyed my destiny. Of course you do. If there's anything that will deny you of your destiny, it's you. Yes. Chinelo, you need to come out of your shell. You need to allow yourself to feel life again. You need to let go. Go out. Meet people. You have watched things happen for too long. It's time for you to make things happen. You are beautiful. You are smart. You are intelligent. If we all dwell in our mistakes, then there's nothing left of us. We all make mistakes. Should we let our mistakes define who we are? No, of course not. And that boy Nayo, he deserves all the love and care. Yes. He's bad enough that he doesn't have a father figure in his life. And the only one person that should care for him shouldn't disappoint him. He deserves better. 
He's been through so much trauma at his age. It's too much for him. It's a lot for a little boy of his age. Please, I beg you. Please, let it all go. It's never too late. You can start all over again. It's worse when you don't even try. I know you can do it. You are a strong woman and you've proven that you are. Am I living far where my life is shattered? Oh, I watch my life be sad before me. Oh, Cause I've taken place of blessings in my life. Everything about me is agony and pain. Mama, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mama. Good evening, my dear. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, good evening. I was worried. Uh, uh, Mama, what are you going to do, right? All right. And I'm good. I'm going to help you, right? <laughs> no, we're only learning how to drive our lives. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Sipo. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome, Mama. And don't forget, you can always call me anytime. I mean, any time. <laughs> Besides, where's Mario? I'd like to see him. He's in the Oh, I'm definitely seeing him next to him. Well, then, besides, we have unfinished business. <laughs> that is very true. Um, I really want to know what's in my head. I'm having a horrible day. That's right. You really need that. Make sure you get enough, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was blind. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My God! You are looking beautiful and well polished. Oh, 
Hey, hey, hey. Don't touch me. What's that supposed to mean? What is this? Ngozi. So you came around and uh, refused to check up on me. Hmm? What is this? Check up on you as in what? As my husband or my father? Let it all be heard that you, 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 are, you are forgotten me so soon. Eh? Do you know how many investments I have invested on you? My, 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 my prayers. Ngozi, you swore and promised not to leave you before you left for the city. <laughs> forgotten. Emeka say, levels have changed. And I will advise you to do something meaningful with your miserable life. And let me also warn you, let this be the last time you would ever stop me to speak this nonsense again. Village cheap in Yoka. Nonsense. When I make, make money, I will, I, will, I will buy something better than this. Huh? Because of this, this pure water. My daughter, I am so happy. I don't know what you did to her. It's been long I saw her smile like this. <laughs> huh? Mama, it's just a step in the long run. Your daughter has been through a lot of emotional challenges. It's going to take time to get her out of it. But the good thing is, she's going to definitely, eventually, be fine in the long run. I pray so, my dear. I pray so, to be honest. It's been long I saw her like this. I, I miss my cheerful and loving daughter. No, you definitely have her back. By God's grace. Thank you very much. No? Okay. Thank you. Darling. It's okay. It's okay. You're welcome. So I'll have to leave now. Uh, yes. Okay. But please do me a favor. Take good care of yourself. I will. Don't think too much. No. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. So soon for everything I put you through. No, 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 listen, listen, listen. Don't, don't be scared, okay? I know I have hurt you. And I know I have done a lot of things that I'm not proud of right now. I want you to know that I'm sorry. Okay, please forgive me. Your mother has realized her mistakes and she is truly, truly sorry. Okay? Listen, just hug me. Hug me, please. 
love you. And I want you to know that I really, really love you. I promise you, I will never, ever hurt you again. Okay. Just Rock, paper, season, even season, and your paper, I'm going to cut. Okay. Then, if you're wrong, mm -hmm. you're going to smash me. Okay. If I'm scissors. Okay. And if I'm rough, you're scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Hi, Evo Kairoka. Do it again. Do it again. No. I can see you both are having a nice time. Yes, so <laughs> my darling friend, mm. welcome. Thank Good you, Auntie. Good afternoon, my boy. How are you? I am fine, Auntie. Mm. Auntie, come on, join us. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'll do not know. Okay, I'm fine. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how to play. You know, your auntie doesn't know how to play this kind of game. <laughs> but I tell you this. I'm going to sit down here and watch you beat your mom's hands down. Eh? Now you have to get fun. <laughs> okay. Let me see. I will see that. Bro, paper. perform on you. She must be a professional. Mm. I don't know, but eh, I feel so light. Oh. As if a very heavy weight was lifted off my shoulder. Mm. See, eh, that woman has a way with words. As in, she will talk to you like this, eh, you start feeling like a new person. I can see that because you're glowing. Exactly. You're seriously glowing. Just yeah. look at you. Looking more beautiful. Mm. Okay? I'm so happy for you, Chinelo. I'm happy you're happy. Hmm. I am happy. I'm <laughs> not like. You hear what? I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. Go on with my offer. Um, let's let's go out now. Mm. I just discovered that playing with my son and spending quality time with him gives me a kind of joy that I cannot explain. It saddens me that I wasted so much time hating on him and being angry at him for something that was not his fault at all. It's okay. Do not dwell on your past. Let it go. Move on and let this moment count. That's what matters. Hmm? I will. Guess what? What? <laughs> Anastasia promised to get me a job. That way, I can save up for school. School? You're still talking about school? Of course. Isoma, you know how much I love school. Listen, I know I fell. I fell so hard. But I... I can't remain on the ground forever. It is time for me to get up, dust off, 
and move on. I mean, I want my life back. I also want to have a great life so that I can give my son a meaningful and beautiful future. Yes! That's the Chinelo I know talking! <laughs> Chinelo the go-getter! Eh? The fighter that never gives up! Mm. Mm? <laughs> wow! Whatever choice you make, I'm suddenly behind you, okay? Mm? <laughs> but, Beto, this Anastasia girl did a whole lot on your mindset. Tell me about it. Eh? Even you, Isioma, you deserve a best friend award. Aww. Uh -uh. You stood by me through it all. I mean, you were there for me. You fought for me even when others abandoned me. Turned their backs on me and left just on me. Thank you. Thank you for not giving up even when I shut you out. You're, you're just you're just the sister I never had. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but Chinelu, you would do the same for me. What are friends for? Friendship is all about steering someone towards success. No one's life goes up when you light up your sister's candle. Instead, the illumination will even become brighter. That is true. But I am happy. I am so happy that I took that bumpy ride with you. Now you want to make me cry. Don't cry here. <laughs> and forget the good news I'm here to bring to you. <laughs> good news. Yes. Spill it, spill it. My call of later is out. My God. I'm going for the YC. Where were you posted? Abuja. Yes. Is that your choice? Mm -hmm. You no. want me to serve in the village? I want you to serve in my house. Uh -uh. Abuja is too far now. That means I can't talk to you anytime I want. I can't see you when I want to. You will see me. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Before you close your eyes and open it, I'm back. No, you change it. Don't miss me too much. Don't worry. You will see me now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to die. It's just for you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank honestly. you, my love. Thank I'm you. I'm living your life and Thank I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Oh yes, baby. I'm so proud of myself for the results I'm seeing in her. Yeah, she has changed a lot from the very bitter and angry young lady I saw the other day. I had an encounter with. Mm -hmm. She has changed. She's bubbling with life. She's glowing. I mean, I've, I've never been so proud of myself. But it's, there's something about her. Her resilience. Yeah, I'm planning on getting her a job here in the city. Uh -huh. And her son is such a lovely little boy. So men are so unfair, Sha. Come on, know you, you're different. That's why I said some men. I'm lucky. <laughs> yeah, and I miss you so much. I can't wait to see you. All right, baby. Love you. Yeah, bye. I should have known. Not to love us, yes, I could see you. I should have known. I should have known. Not by yes. Not by yes, you got by I should have known. Education of my voice is not fair. Education of my now. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known <laughs> He's fine. Yes, everybody's fine. What of you? <laughs> okay. Oh, really? Oh. Okay, okay, I'll, no problem, I'll ask my mother first, 
then I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Who is it? It's Anastasia. He wants uh, Anna and I to pay her a visit. It's okay. Naya, I'm going to come to you on the next few days. Mm -hmm. She said it's, it would be a very good idea for us to leave the village for a while. You know, meet new people, see new things. But according to her, it's part of the healing process. It's okay. It's okay. She seems to know what she's doing. At the side, I am ready to support anything that will bring this family back together with me. So when are you going? What of you? I'm okay. I can take care of myself. At least my grandson will experience a new place. Mboy and I. Yes, Grandma. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you going to the next room? No, we are going to Auntie Anastasia's place. No! Yay! I'm going to her place. I'm going to meet her house. I wish it would be hard. I need to be find out an house. Yay. I'm going to take line there. <laughs> place. I'm going to play line there. Play line. Play line. Play line. I'll take it there. I'm bad okay. I'm on the game mode. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hi, Mama. Hi. I'm going to miss you. Let me see you upstairs. Let's go. How are you able to bring me this place? Why are you guys breathing here? Because what is this? <coughs> Mama Bum Boy. So, how is motherhood treating you? Not nice, obviously. So, this is how you ended up with all your friends. Oh, God, such a pity. Ngozi. So you actually left your home to come here and insult Chinilo. <laughs> really? No, no. What is no, your no, problem? No, no. My problem is that life is not necessarily what it seems. And point of correction, I came to pay a courtesy visit to a, my classmate. Oh, sorry, our classmate, who has given birth to a future. <laughs> you know. What effort to Ngozi? I really expected too much from Chinelo. Like, you know, becoming a professor after college. But she is nothing to reckon with. Or perhaps she is now a nanny in, oh, a professional nanny in the child care center. <laughs> what effort to? Mm. So, because you drive a car, Mm -hmm. Wear clothes and shoes. You think you've arrived? Eh, Ngozi? Just wait until those your sugar daddies disappoint you. Then you will see how your fall will, 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 will start. Oh. You think luxury is an investment? It's your mom. No! It's your mom. If you have an idea of who you were talking to right now, you would watch your tongue. Oh, stupid! I will place you with You are very stupid! Mugazi! Look at this prostitute! Watch dog. Look at this prostitute! Do you think we don't know how you prostitute around with men for money? Do you think we don't know how your dog brain couldn't comprehend anything but sex? And then what happened to our brilliant Chinelo? The Eko King. The same. She produced. A mighty future for herself without feeling less, huh? My dear, let me tell you guys something. If you try my name, you will end up, I mean, the point of you, having disciples, 12 of them without fathers. Nothing, you nothing, you nothing. You got this an achievement? <laughs> Idiot! Look at this stout! Look at this prostitute! Bronze gear! Bronze gear! Bronze gear that cannot do anything! 
I should have known. Not to love us, yes, so close to you. I should have known. No. I should have known. Not by yet. Not by yet, see, go by I should have known. Uh-huh. Education of my voice is not fair. Uh-huh. Education of my life. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known that. You don't want to tell me what's going on. Donald. I do not know what you're talking about. That girl saw you and ran so fast. I mean, if we were not in your parents' house, I would have started thinking you were a ghost. Talk to me, Donald. Again! I do not know what you are talking about. Seven years ago, you and I were back in the UK, doing our masters. Popsy took you, you had to come back to Nigeria, and you came back to the UK 
after his death and the burial. How come I've been this slow? Why didn't I think about this connection? What? What connection are you talking about? So is you. How did I not even think that the university talked about Chidi is my own Chidi? I was back in the UK! They took my ass out! And you were here, smashing and busy ruining the life of a village girl. Oh, I still do not get what you're doing. I'm talking about Chini and her son. I bet you didn't know the boy we saw today is your son. How could you? How could you? You made that girl so bitter. You got her pregnant and you dumped her! You ruined her dreams. You made her give up on her dreams. If I didn't know my mom, I would have said, Who brought you up? Because you are acting like a complete Lucifer. And who told you? Who told you you could toy with a girl's heart like that? Who told you? You better stop talking! Education of my boys is nothing. Ah, education of my now. I should have known this. I should have known that. I should have known that. Can you hear me? She be you oh, open the door. I should have known not to love us as so close to me. I should have known. She never. I should have known not by you, not by you, not by you. I should have. She never. Open the door. I should have done that. I should have done more. I'm gonna give you love for the idea. I'm gonna pass you by the. I'm gonna give you love for the fool. I'm 
Not keep the things in between your legs for a few months. Explain what? That you gave me a ring back in the UK, an engagement ring. I know I was even more disrespectful about all of this. We were together as man and woman, about to be husband and wife. You go back to the village and you start looking around with naive village girls. Hey, sleeping with village girls. Darling, my relationship with her was heartless. But you know, strings are that. I, I agree, I, I go carried away along the line and then. But that was not my intention. I promise. Listen to yourself talk. But you obviously knew what you were doing. You got honey. And your girl was way out of your reach. And what did you do? Get yourself another. A primitive, naive village girl. To satisfy your sexual urge. Fine. I agree. I have no explanation for what I've done. But, baby, I love you. I love you so much, I cannot live this life without you. We have been together for so long. Please, I beg you, don't let this come between us. Especially now we're about to legalize our relationship. Please. Our relationship? Yes. When you were pressing up and down, did you think about our relationship? Where was it? Did you even think about it? Baby, I'm sorry. Don't do this to us. <laughs> Thank you. Please don't do this to us. Us? Don't. Baby. Awesome. Please don't do this to us, I bet you. Did you even think? Did you even think about how this will affect the people in your life? Did you think about it? No. Did you think about it? Oh, I hope not. I, 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 I'm so sorry I made a mistake. I know. I, I, I. You made a mistake. Yes. <laughs> you made a mistake. A mistake that ruined an innocent girl's life. A mistake that shattered her dreams. A mistake. That made a whole human being. Yes. I'm sorry. The world best dumb reward should go to you. You are very stupid. I'm sorry. Now listen to me. Take time and think about this. And don't you dare come for me. Please, please, please. Please, don't I beg touch you. Me. Please. Don't touch me! This is that baby, don't do this to us, I beg you. Baby, baby, listen. Please, listen to me. Listen to me. Don't now get I'm, your hands I'm, off me. Get your hands off me! I promise you, this one's your hand. Ah! 
Um, was this coming to call both of you for lunch? Are you going somewhere? Yes, ma'am. Will somebody tell me what is going on? Maybe you should ask your staff. Um, Gee, what is it? Gee. I should ask my son. Um, what's going on? Listen to me. Okay, we, we, we can sort this out. I promise you, we can sort this out. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. We can sort this out. Okay. I promise you, I'll turn and you leave. Anastasia. Anastasia, please. Anastasia. Listen, I'm ready to turn and you leave. Okay? I'm ready to turn and you leave. I'm a changed person now. Please. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Anastasia, I beg. I beg you, babe, 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 babe. Come on, babe. Babe, 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 babe. Anastasia, Anastasia. Wow. Are you going to tell me what is going on? Okay, can you find me? Not me, I messed up. Yeah. I messed up big time. So ashamed of myself. <laughs> I picked up on that. It is not fully to this. We came back. And both of you started fighting. Get if any men. You better start talking. Tell me what is happening. I'm out, yes. I'm going to teach you how to cook a full meal. Thank you, know. eh? And when you learn how to cook it, I really have to cook it. You always help your mom in the kitchen. You know, go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you cool down. To teach you how to cook a full meal. Make it to your You do work in a tofu for that I say. Eh? Good. You don't mind me, yeah? So maybe when we get the money soon, eh? We knock and see if she will come out. 
you know go i don't know what her problem is i don't know what happened to her hmm? she just came in good afternoon mama good afternoon Hello, friend. How are you, my darling? Mm -hmm. How are you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Mama, I think it's best you know. I don't know. She came back not quite long ago and went into her room. She refused to open the door. I don't know what the problem is. Okay. Please, can you let her come here to see her? Hmm? Kindly help me later and I'll get to see her. Okay. Let me see if she wants to come out. Thank you. Thank you. You're such a sweet boy. So, nice. so how are you today? I am fine. Chinelo, your friend Anna is here to see you. Chinelo, open the door. She's waiting outside. Chio, Chi, your friend Anna is here. Chinelo, open, no, no, open. Great. Um, so, what are your favorite things to do? Do you like to play football? Do you like to go fishing? Do you like to go swimming? Yes! Oh, great! <laughs> I love swimming. Can you swim? Yes. Okay, but please don't go to the deep end. Okay. You know what happens when you go to the deep end? It's a cut off. Great. No, it's not a cut off. When you go to the deep end, you might get drowned. And when you get drowned, you die. I and won't die, you, I'm not good to you. And when you die, you're not gonna go to pursue your dreams. So when you swim, avoid the deep end. Hello. My daughter has refused to come out. So maybe you come back another time. It's okay. Just tell us to me when she feels like talking. I will. Oh? Thank you for stopping by. See? She, I'm sorry. I didn't know. How long have you guys been together? Nine years. So, you both were together when he... Yes. My God. He deceived me. He deceived me. Oh. What even hurts is not the um, cheated one. It's what he did to you. It's wrong, and it's against womanhood. I feel so strongly about it. So, what are you going to do? To be honest, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna go away and just clear my head. Whatever you decide to do, just know that your happiness is more paramount. I'm lost. What is happening here? Mama. Jim is back. What?
I'm trying to come to you to meet my fiance. I bet you didn't know that that boy we saw today with her is your son. Talk. Chinelo. Hey. And what are you doing here? Haven't you done enough damages? Mama I came here to see Chinelo. For what? We need to talk. Talk about what? Mama, I need to see her. It's very important, please. Well, she doesn't want to see you. So I will advise you to leave my house now. Or I call the police for you and tell them you are a thief. Out. Leave my house. I hope he's gone forever. <clears throat> but how do you that he will not stop? He sees you. But I have nothing to say to him. Nothing. <sighs> you can't hide from him forever. It's better you see him once and for all. I know what he wants. There's nothing he will say to me that will testify me for what he did. Nothing. So there's no point seeing him. Mommy, who is that man? Mom.
Some men really do know how to make love look as though as love is a lie. I trusted you and gave you my heart. How could I have known that you're going to do this to me? Am I living far where my life is shattered? Oh, I watch. 
And that rejection shattered my life. Cost me everything. I lost everything. Everything. I'm not saying it was your fault that he rejected the child even while still in the womb. But I can remember clearly you to refuse to keep the child. Yes. It took you six years to accept that child as your son. What are you saying? 